Virgin Group founder and space entrepreneur Richard Branson visited the Antonov Airport in Ukraine, the site where the world's largest cargo plane, Maria, was destroyed. According to local politicians, Branson has offered help to rebuild the cargo plane. The An-225 was the world's largest cargo plane built by Ukrainian aerospace company, Antonov. When it debuted in 1988, the aircraft was about 50% bigger than any aircraft the world had seen. The aircraft was designed to carry the Buran spaceplane for the Soviet Union, but when it fell, the aircraft was bought by the Ukrainian aerospace company Antonov, who called the aircraft Maria or Dream. Since 2001, the aircraft was used as a commercial cargo carrier and created many records during its years of service, such as carrying 187 tons inside its belly, which is about the weight of two fully loaded A320s, during a flight in 2009. The aircraft, which supplied emergency aid during the pandemic and was expected to remain operational till the end of the decade, was damaged beyond repair when Russian forces attacked its base at Antonov Airport at Hostomol in Ukraine. Rebuilding Maria Last month, we reported that before the fall of the Soviet Union, another An-225 was in the works but had to be shelved due to budget constraints. Antonov is reportedly still in possession of the fuselage of that shelved aircraft and could now use it to rebuild Maria. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had also said that his government had considered constructing a Maria light plane before the conflict but could not find the money to do so. With the original aircraft destroyed, Ukraine wants to rebuild the aircraft to honor the pilots that have sacrificed their lives in this conflict, and money is no longer an issue. A helping hand from Richard Branson. David Arakamia, a local politician of the ruling government, while sharing images of Branson's visit on his Telegram channel, said, the Russian occupiers can destroy anything, but never the dream. Adding that plans were afoot to build a stronger and updated Maria after the war, Arakamia also said, that the rebuilding of the aircraft as well as cooperation in the field of aerospace was discussed with Branson during the visit. Branson has reportedly agreed to help in whatever ways he can. A local news reporter also tweeted that Branson has plans to restore the airfield, which was destroyed during the conflict. Branson himself hasn't made any public comments about the role he would like to play in reconstructing the cargo plane. Virgin also hasn't made any announcements about the company's involvement in the restoration of the aircraft or the aerospace infrastructure in Ukraine. That's it for today. If you like this video then please do subscribe this channel, which will bring you more such interesting and informative video to you. Cheers!